And did you know that it was National Book Week? I didn't, which is what prompted me to start this video. Um, there's a thing going around on Facebook and it's grab the nearest book to you, go to page 56 and write down the fifth sentence on the page, which is fun. Um, it's actually what I tried to do and then put it all together. But it turns out it's really hard to make, you know, 50 sentences make sense when they're put together. So I thought instead I would read you the first line of all my favourite books because um, the other thing didn't quite work out. So let's go. Mr and Mrs Dursley of number four, Privet Drive, were proud to say that they were perfectly normal, thank you very much. The phone is ringing. In her sleep, Kitty hears her own voice on the answering machine, husky, as her husband laughs at the serious tone of her message in the background. I write this sitting in the kitchen sink. My mother used to threaten to tear me into eight pieces if I knocked over the water bucket, or pretended not to hear her calling me to come home as the dust thickened and the cicadas shrilling increased. I was of a roving frame of mind, even as a child, and for years my fancy had been to set sail on one of my father's ships. As the pirates in the West Indies have been so formidable and numerous that they have interrupted the trade of Europe into those parts, and our English merchants in particular have suffered more by their depredation than by the united force of France and Spain in the late war, we do not doubt that the world will be curious to know the original and progress of these desperados who were the terror of the trading part of the world. A boy and a girl were spending the night together in the back seat of a Volvo estate car. The light hadn't even officially turned green at the intersection of 17th and Broadway before an army of overconfident yellow cabs roared past the tiny death trap I was attempting to navigate around the city streets. I taped the commercial back in April, before anything had happened, and promptly forgot about it. My name is Cathy H. When I was little, my Uncle Pete had a necktie with a porcupine painted on it. Vienna has always been a city of myths. She should have been disoriented, her image sneering back at her from the countless dust-filmed looking-glasses that surrounded her, but she was too consumed with the quest that had brought her to this maze whose time had passed, its purpose unfulfilled. When he was nearly thirteen, my brother Jem got his arm badly broken at the elbow. To open a door and not know what lay on the other side. That was what Jonah dreamed about, day and night. That was what freedom meant. My father has sent a telegram to the war office. He wants to take part in the war with Argentina. The Glock 23 felt heavy and seductively comfortable in my hand. If you are interested in stories with happy endings, you would be better off reading some other book. Dallas leaned far out of the window, his eyes fixed on a bird flying lazily in the distance. The Summer King knelt before her. Is this what you freely choose, to risk winter's chill? So they rode out early, while the dew was still wet on the grass. I hadn't so much forgot, as I couldn't bring myself to remember. Other things were more important. So there you have it, 23 first lines of some of my favourite books. If you've watched this to the end, um, check down there because I will put a list of all the books and I strongly urge you to read them because they are just fantastic. Um, I'd love it if you would respond, uh, comment or video respond, that'd be lovely. Tell me your favourite first line or your favourite book or several, whatever. I love discovering new authors. So I would love to find out what you read too and I will see you tomorrow.